cloud. Hi, everybody. Welcome for this new Jenkins Infra meeting. Um, before we discuss about infrastructure um, topic, I just want to remind people that in two days, this is the deadline for the Jenkins officer and board um, position. So you still have two days to, to nominate people. Um, so yeah, so then the, let's talk about the first uh, thing. So the Docker Hub um, policy um, change. I sent an email to the CDF. Um, they accepted to to sponsor the project. So this is a really great uh, great news. On the other side, I discovered at the same time that Docker Hub offer a free plan for open source projects. So I apply to see. Um, yeah, what's I mean, if we could, I mean, if if Docker Hub could sponsor the project, that would be really nice. Um, we still have a strong deadline, which is the first of November. So if we cannot manage to get it done by that time, I guess we'll have to to ask the CDF to pay for the bill. Um, anyway, the bill is not a big amount. So we should be around fifty, fifty, fifty dollar per month. So um, yeah, I still I still hope that Docker Hub will accept to to sponsor. Yeah, any question or suggestion on this specific topic? No, one time, two times. So then I to for that. <laughs> uh, Mark, did you want to share your screen? You're muted, by the way, Mark. I was trying to have my keyboard sounds not disturbed, but I'm happy to share my screen. Here we go. I like following on. <laughs> right, notes, here we go. And now I am going to mute myself because my clattering keyboard will disrupt it. Okay, um, so the next topic um, that I want to discuss is regarding the Windows, um, Windows Docker images. Um, I haven't actively followed on that thing, so maybe Garrett, you can, you can explain. I think you work a little bit on those. You made good progress, but I'm just wondering what's what's missing right now. So um, we have the the base VM images built by Packer. Um, I think they they now should be up to date. There are a few issues with them getting the builds through. It's timing out um, in a few places. So I'm just watching those, see if I can make sure that those. Um, go get sorted and then we should be able to recreate the VMs um, in Jenkins. I think after that, we do we need some different images as well, rather than just the host that it runs on? Is that the idea? What do you mean by different images? Once, once you have once you have the, the Windows machines running, we can just use them to build a Docker image. But I don't think that you have this, the the version inside the Docker image tag. Okay, yeah. And and I thought we used tagging of some form to identify the the version number that previously the 1909 will be the, is the new version, and 1809 will just will continue to exist, but no longer be usable. That's the wrong way to say it. Continue to exist, but not be actively maintained, right? I would, then we should be... But then what's the point to keep building images for that old version if you are not, um, if, if the version is not maintained anyway? Right, we should stop building 1809 images. That I agree wholeheartedly. I think we shouldn't bother building something that's on an operating system platform that's no longer receiving security updates after the no their their last release in November. Because yeah, because another point is when you go to let's say Docker Hub and you see an image, if you see that image um, was built, let's say within the last, the last 24 hours, you have the feeling that that image is still maintained, even if, if it's not. So we, we should definitely um, stop building for that specific version. So we may, so to answer the Garrett question, we may have to to change uh, that to the, the way we build those images. So we, I mean, it's not like we only need the, the virtual machine, we also have to change some stuff. Okay. 
So Gareth, did I correctly capture this? The Packer definition is available, but the Packer image builds are not yet um, running successfully to completion. So we've got some work there before we can even yeah, do this, those image builds. I think, yeah, most most of them seem to be in the build queue. Um, so they'll, they'll get processed at some point soon. That build queue's still about 60. Um, um in terms of where we're up to. Um, but we have been having some timeouts uh, or what looked like, or connection closed midway through downloading um, some pieces. So uh, locally, just rerunning it seems to resolve those. Um, but I'm just looking to try and see if there's a better way that we can download these dependencies. Um, are you using the EC2 instances for this or is it also working on Azure? For the Packer image. Um, so it's it's a but Docker I mean, and Linux yeah. it's a, it's a Docker and Linux host that does a Packer call to Azure or to um, AWS. So it'd be whatever is Azure is doing internally. But when you run it locally, okay, okay. it does it does the same thing. Um, yeah, I think. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. So no. And you're in the, in Forgive my ignorance. I thought that Packer generated an image that was specific to Azure or to EC2. Did I misunderstand that? It somehow. No, that's correct. Something. Oh, okay. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. But it, yeah, it actually does the it actually does the building on Azure or EC2. Yeah, because the the the, um, the Docker image that run uh, Packer is running from a container. But then you have specific scripts for Amazon or for Azure, basically. You could just move those. And then you publish the result. You can move it to infra.ci, it actually can start IO as well. Um, yeah. And and infra has access. Well, but but I thought that oh, and, and infra shares the account. Because don't these images have to be published so that they're available to ci.jenkins.io to use them? And so I had assumed that. So, the, so that in the so in the case of Packer, it's not a major issue to use yeah, the Jenkins IO because the um, the accounts that push the image can only push images in a specific location. So I think it's fine to run to run it from Seattle Jenkins IO. So we could move that to infra.ci, but um, in the end, yeah. Um, if if the account used to push images is compromised, the only thing that it will be able is to change the. Um, image at the end. I mean, it would not, it's not a risk for the whole um, account. But yeah, I think it would make sense to, to move those. But yeah, it's not, it's not in the, um, it's not needed for the, for the work here. It could be a nice improvement for the future. Any other question? Nope. Then I propose to quickly move to the next one, which is um, the repo, the Jenkins Yada arc. So the work being done by GFrog. I don't think we don't have. I don't think we have any news here, Mark. Have you received um, email from GFrog? I, I have not, and I've not seen any mention from Daniel Beck either of anything from them. Okay. So. Let's move to the next topic. Um, regarding the Jira upgrade, we had a meeting last week with um, with Mark, with the Linux Foundation. We identified a few things that we have to work. So the, the, the different thing that we did was to share a, a backup of our instances of issues at Jenkins.io. So we gave access to one person from the Linux Foundation to, to, to the Jira machine. So that person could retrieve the backup. Um, Another topic that we discussed last week was, um, so the Linux Foundation use Let's Encrypt to generate certificates and they only use the DNS methods. So we needed a way to share access. Um, we, sh we needed a way to share access to our uh, zone. Um, I didn't know at that time, but I discovered that on Azure, you can delegate permission only on one specific record. So I just cre I just created the record that are supposed to be created by Let's Encrypt and then create a specific um, user who can modify those records and share that information with uh, Linux Foundation folks. So now, um, as far as I know, they are currently testing um, to restore and um, 
yeah, they are basically testing the, that they can restore the machine on their sites, and they should be able to also generate um, Jira um, certificates on their sites. So as far as I know, that's the current state. Um, maybe maybe Mark has more context than me. I, I other than next week is our test week. They agreed in the meeting last week that they're okay with us using that as our scheduled test week next week to test a sample of the upgraded JIRA. We will discard the test, throw it away completely after we're done with it. It's just an experiment. I've had no subscribers yet, no volunteers to join the test. Uh, so let me ask directly in this meeting, Gareth, no, would you I'm like either. to volunteer to be a, a tester? Tim, would you like to volunteer to be a tester? Olivier, would you like to volunteer? Sure. Good, I have three volunteers now, thank you. That's perfect. Um, just regarding Jira, um, another thing that I discussed with them uh, was to, instead of using LDAP, is to use our, an OAuth token, so we could use Kicklock as um, the source of identity. Um, they are more concerned about the fact that they will have to restore the instance um, and so they, they fear basically that it may be more complicated for them to, to, to restore the backup on their side. Um, so they are also testing to see if it's easy for them to use an auto token instead of um, an LDAP user to synchronize the user. Cool, that's good. That'd be good. Yeah, I, I thought the sense I had from their, their conversations was that they were concerned that the switch to OAuth token that they've done in the past caused them to do additional migration work. Is have, Did I understand them correctly, Olivier? Yep. yep. Okay, so so that, that's a risk and, and they're, they'll want to control that risk. Um, yeah, um, so another thing that I did was um, to share the license with them. Um, so basically, Atlassian is sponsoring license for any open source project, so you can request any of them. So if in the future we are interested by a specific plugin uh, or whatever we want to use, um, yeah, we just we can just request for it. Um, but at least for, for for now, I just had to renew the different licenses, upgrade the plugin, and then now we should be ready to migrate. So as a reminder, the first thing they will do is they will first restore our, insta our instance in their, uh, in, their, uh, in, in, in their infrastructure, and then they will do the, the upgrade from Jira 7 to Jira 8. So. so any question, any missing information here? Sounds like we are good. So um, I propose just to, to quickly discuss about the mirroring infrastructure um, happening at the moment. Um, we were, so just before the meeting, we were just discussing about how we can have more mirrors and also how we deal with the fact that sometimes people from a country um, are not allowed to use mirror from a different country. Um, more specifically, in this case, it was people in, from India where they are not allowed to use Mirror from China. As far as I know, we do not support such things, and I don't think that we should care about the different countries' um, limitation, um, except at uh, trying to have more Mirror so people rely only on Mirror in their own country. So we still have to promote the work that we did here. And I still have to create a Jira IP with all the different tasks that we need to do, um, more specifically on the mirror infrastructure. But I think that for now, um, the migration is quite successful. So I'm really happy with that. Anything to add on this topic? But we had an action item previously to uh, do a blog post announcing uh, the new the new mirrors. I haven't done that yet. I think it was me, or was that you, Olivier, that was going to do? I don't think we we decided who would work on that. Um, I, I can I can try to find some time to work on this, um, but I'm not sure right now. But yeah, this is something that I would like to do anyway. 
uh, I need to have, I really would like to have a blog post for that. Uh, I'm just more concerned about uh, the time. Great, and, and if, if one of us gets to it and submits it to the pull request, others can review it and correct and update as needed. Great, okay. But, but something that is really important to have in the blog post is a way for them to explain for the people how to report any issues or things that they would like to have in the mirror infrastructure. Um, the example is to have mirror for a specific country, for example. Um, yeah, if someone is interested, I think we should also have a way to explain how to add a new mirror because it's not a big deal. But um, yeah, maybe if people realize how easy to add uh, to maintain your own mirror, um, I'm not. I mean, I'm not talking about the network bandwidth and stuff like that. But yeah, just configuring the machine is just really, really easy to do. Yeah, there's um, I think Gunther. He he said he's running everything in containers, so. Maybe we could ask him to share some of what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Well, Ed, is that one where we want, well, should we do a Jenkins online meetup to highlight mirrors? That would be a good idea. That would be a good idea, but I, I really think that the blog post should be part of the big picture about how we promote using um, Miro. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, if it can be useful for promotion, especially to get some of those ones that Mark was mentioning would be good. Do you, do you have access to a Git repository, Tim? Which one? Um, the one with the Docker image to, to maintain email. You never seen one? No, no, you don't. We, we would just have to ask Gunther or whoever it was in Europe there that was maintaining as a... Yeah. As a... No, yeah, he just said he's running all in containers, but he didn't elaborate. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, if someone else is interested to work on this with uh, Mark and me, um, yeah, feel free to manifest. I'll try to find some time to work on this. Um, and those are the most important um, information right now. So we still have nine minutes left. So either we stop the meeting here or there is something else that you want to discuss. I propose to count three times, one, two, three. Then I propose to stop the meeting here and continue on our scene. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.